Yes, she is, President-elect, but regardless of that fact, I still got to bring the news to the people. So anyways, today is Tuesday, December 13th, 2016, and here are the stories I found on the internet for the past 24 hours. The first story today that was all over the internet is Kanye West met with President Trump, and after the meeting, they left the elevator and had a brief conversation, and I've got it for you, so here it is. We've been friends for a long time. Life, we discussed it. I just want to take a picture right now. <laughs> Kanye West and President Trump. Strange bedfellows, don't you think? This next video involves Newt Gingrich describing how with President Obama complaining about the Russian hack, it only makes his legacy look worse. He's always insightful and I enjoy listening to him. So, here it is. And this is, by the way, about as stupid as anything I've seen the left try. <laughs> I tried uh, to say that, but, but you said it better. <laughs> no, no, think, think about it. So Barack Obama is now saying that his administration was so incompetent that they stood around sucking their thumb while the Russians snuck in and hacked into an American election because of the utter incompetence of the Obama defense system. Now, I, th I don't know why one would want to go make that case. Uh, I happen to believe Obama is uh, amazingly incompetent about m national security, but he's basically making the case that they now have to investigate whether or not the Russians hacked in despite the Obama national security system. And we're now supposed to believe the guys who failed were going to tell us why they failed because it was the Russians who did it because they were too stupid to protect the system. I mean, this whole thing will go down. This would be a parody. It would be a comedy if it was a movie. And for the next part of my video, it's a segment I'm sure you're all familiar with if you've been watching. It's short news from around the world, so I'll hold you up no longer and show it to you. This is rather embarrassing if you're a Democrat. Trump wins the recount. Jill Stein went to court to get a recount in Wisconsin and had to foot the bill, which will run into the millions. But the result did her and Hillary Clinton no good at all. It concluded that Donald Trump got 162 votes more than originally counted. Not surprising at all, Stein only pursued recounts in the three states, each of which were part of Hillary Clinton's supposed blue wall, but fell to Donald Trump. The executive director of Wreaths Across America, again, I will repeat that, Wreaths Across America, says the cutoff for Arlington is December 14th. We are just a few thousand short to cover every headstone at Arlington National Cemetery with a fresh evergreen wreath on December 17th, which is National Wreaths Across America today. So, if you feel so inclined, it would be nice to get in touch with that website. Again, Wreaths Across America. And finally, the NFL is admitting what we already knew that Colin Kaepernick's protest against the national anthem has hurt their ratings. People do not want to see other people's political beliefs infringed upon them when they just want to watch an NFL game. Now, for my favorite part of this video that I always put together for you guys, the strange and funny stories of the last 24 hours you'll find over the internet. You gotta watch this one as a 65-year-old grandmother was caught going onto a porch and stealing Christmas presents that UPS driver left. Watch this.
Maybe that's one grandma who should have been run over by a reindeer. Anyways, this next clip I got for you, I think you'll see is pretty cool. A cyclone hit India and the winds were so strong it toppled over a car. And yes, there's video. Here it is. Well, that's the end of my video today. And once again, I'd like to thank you all for watching. And as usual, I will leave you with an old film clip from some movie you'll probably never see in your lifetime. So, enjoy. Walking arm in arm with your head close together. A smell and a flower. Worst case love I ever seen. Ah, hates love. What's a bark her to be in love, Bob? He's only got golden yellow hair. No more golden yellow than the summer sun. Her eyes are only as blue as the sky. Her teeth are no more white or shinier than pearls. For cheeks, I can show you plenty of peaches, which is almost as soft as pink and white. You only thinks love is what I is in up with her. You take that back! Little, little Abner, you don't drive. She is just an ordinary, yarn-haired, blue-eyed, pinky-cheeked gal. Just like you'll say, anybody would be a fool to be in love with her. Yes, sir, an awful fool.